Hi, it's Mike Riddle again, Executive Vice President of InCab America, and today we're showcasing our new dielectric extrusion line. Uh, this line we use to make ADSS and duct types and other types of dielectric or black jacket type fiber optic cables. We're going to go from beginning to end, and we begin with a cable core. This is a 48 fiber cable core, and we can use this line to make dozens, literally, of different types of ADSS or duct cable designs depending upon the jacket configuration and the amount of strength that we add. This uh, mechanism right here is controlling the tension. That's extremely important for any fiber optic cable. Here we have the capability of using up to two servers to apply the strength element, which can be either aramid yarn or fiberglass yarn. Most of the time here in the United States, we're using the aramid yarn, which is better known as Kevlar. So here you see the cable core coming through and the yarn is being applied. Here we add a rip cord, which is used during splice prep. Now we come to the main part of the line, which is plastic pellets are taken by a vacuum up to a drying unit. The drying unit makes sure there's no water in the pellets, which is extremely important for the long-term jacket performance. It also blows out microscopic impurities, again, important for long-term performance. The pellets are then fed down to the mechanism that actually melts them. It feeds them into the extrusion head, which applies the plastic over the cable core. Then you prep the jacket surface and print the information that the customer wants on the cable. You verify the dimensions. Now, the cable is extremely hot at this point, so it goes through a series of water baths to get the temperature down. Here's the operator's control concept. Right now, the operator's control console. Right now, we're operating fast, but we can go a lot faster. And if you're wondering how fast we can go, really fast. So these are just the water baths. The water is circulated and continuously filtered to keep it clean. So what we have here So that mechanism is drying the cable and it's also another uh, jacket verification process. Here we have our length counter. It's telling how much cable we've made. We again verify the dimensional uh, compliance of the cable. Our puller, a caterpillar, is pulling the cable through this entire process. And then we end at the take up. Today we're taking up on a wooden reel, but we can also take up on a steel reel. And what you see here is nice uniform packaging, which is what you want so that the cable pays off smoothly during installation. And I hope you enjoyed our presentation of our new dielectric extrusion line. We look forward to using it a lot to supply you the fiber optic cable that you need. Thank you.